Welcome back to Elevate Her by Jess Mars. I'm your host, and today we're going to be. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Jess Mars and you're listening to Elevate Her. Now, today's topic is going to be controversial and a bit interesting, but I have to talk about it because I literally just asked the Holy Spirit to speak through me and this was the first thing that popped into my head and it's about modesty. Now, here's the thing. Recently, I've realized personally in my life how important God is to me and how important life around that is because we consume our lives so often with TikTok and Instagram and that's so great. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. Why not? I mean, I do it. And external thing, materialistic things, all these amazing designer stuff, whatever. But we, we forget the true essence. Now, here's the thing. Finding the balance is a whole other thing. I want to make another video about that because I'm still trying to figure out my balance within Jesus and life because when you're one way you just want to like go all in but then you're like I also need to live and it's confusing anyhow let's do another video on that but modesty now what does modesty mean in my opinion it's not only about how you dress how you speak and how you present yourself how are you every single day you could be dressed modestly but is that a word modestly maybe modesty I don't know anyhow let's pretend it's a word you could be dressed like that and still do things that aren't that a modest person wouldn't do. That someone that is, you know, preserved in herself or himself. I really believe when I look back at photos of how I used to dress, I don't think I dressed really bad, but I used to wear like really short, short tops or skirts that I'd have to consistently pull down because if I don't, something's gonna show. Even literally two weeks ago. I was out with a friend and I wore a skirt that I really like, okay? But it's really short. I am bigger down below, like I'm wider. I have wider hips. And so I'm more cautious about what I wear, but I thought it was really pretty. So I wore it and when I was getting out of the Uber, <laughs> I kid you not, I was freaking out because I'm like, this man, is gonna, if he turns around, he's gonna see stuff that he shouldn't be seeing. And at that point, it made me realize like, what am I doing? And especially now that I'm getting closer to my religion, I'm realizing how powerful modesty is. Even if you think of it as a man, like, we're well, not men, but if you think of it as what a man would like to look at, of course, men are visual. But when they don't get to see everything, there's a sexiness about that. Because they're like, what? Like, I, I want to know what's underneath. I need to speak to this person. Like, it's intriguing. It's interesting. You're being very seductive without seducing. Do you know what I mean? You are alluring. You're captivating. You're just... Because not everyone can see what you have to offer. It's just you, right? And here's the thing. It's scary. I, I don't care, like, saying it out loud. Even when I was telling my brother, I'm like, I'm going to just start dressing modestly because I just feel like, for me, that's exactly that's the step I want to take. And throwing out so much clothes, I was also, like, freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh, am I ready? Because when you train or when you want to look good and you want to show off your body a bit, you, you want to, you're like, I, I have a good body, I'm confident, I look beautiful, I want to show it off. But that's one way to think about it. The other way is, I have a beautiful body that is for me. My friends can see it, no worries, girls. But also, like, my husband can see it. Like, it's just for me and him, and it's for God. I'm not just out here trying to show everyone I, what I have, you know? Think of it as if, like, a lion was hunting and all the lions were there, whatever he's hunting, that, that analogy didn't work. But if a lion wanted to hunt and he was hunting a rabbit or whatever, I don't know what they eat, and they were all the rabbits were there, he's going to be like, great, I can choose anyone I want. You know what I mean? So it's more about we have the power, and the power starts with not only how you dress, but how you present yourself. Are you going out there and just, you know, doing some extra... Girl, I used to do some things. <laughs> I used to I used to do things that... I want to say embarrass me, but you know what? It was a phase and I feel like everything happens for a reason. But I used to act a certain way that when I see girls act that way, I can't judge them because I understand, you know, screaming out of the car, singing very loudly with the windows down, trying to get attention. These are all things that women do to get attention, right? But that, that shows insecurity within yourself. There's a difference between having fun and there's a difference between doing that. In my opinion, having fun, you can have so much fun and still be very modest and conservative. You don't have to tell the world you're here. Your presence should do that. 
And if your presence doesn't do that, then that's when you know you got to work on yourself. These are some harsh, harsh truths, but you know what? I'm a harsh person and I just think there's no better way to be. And I'm doing it out of love. Trust me, chuck out the clothes that you know aren't serving you. You know that you shouldn't be wearing. In society, we are everywhere. You know, you're, you get to show every body part of yours. You get to do whatever you want and cool that if that's what you want to do, cool. But also, why do you want to follow everyone? You are, you're born different, be different, be you. You know, like just take the step and be like, okay, I'm gonna do it and it's scary, but you know what? The more you do things that are uncomfortable and scary, the closer you'll be to wherever your goal is, wherever your future self is. Picture the future you and be like, okay, I'm gonna start doing this. I got a little sidetracked, but honestly, modesty isn't just about clothes, it's about how you speak. I do sometimes cuss, I'm not even gonna say I don't cause I do sometimes, but that's something that I'm learning to work on. I'm like, okay, we're going to start being more aware of how I speak. I can still be funny and whatever, but I also want to speak in a way where I'm proud of myself. I can speak like this in church. That's how I think. So I want you to really take a step back and think, okay, am I, could I wear this anywhere? And if you are comfortable wearing what you're wearing, you do you. This is for the girlies that want to take a different step and different approach in life. Because not only will this help you within yourself, and men will look at you so differently, might I add, okay? Obviously, there are going to be men that still think the same way, but you have a different approach in everyone in life. Like, people are going to start seeing you in a whole different light. And it's because you're going to be shining differently. And when you do that, when you take that approach of dressing differently, speaking differently, your energy starts to change. Your energy is the most important thing. When your energetic field is about being modest and being like, you know what? I don't want to talk to every single guy. I don't want to give out my number all the time. I don't want to, you know, oh, let's use this into work. I don't want to message this client or someone that emailed me 40 times just because I really, really want her. You're modest, but you have respect. You're modest in yourself where you're like, I know my worth. I say, you know, I will, of course I will help and accommodate, but at the same time, I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna focus on me. And you'll see how life changes. I, this, this is a topic that I want to really speak about because I literally did this on Sunday. Today is Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. I only threw out all my clothes on Sunday, not that long ago, but there's so much beauty in it. And also there's so many ways you can wear something. So please don't be, you know, don't be like, oh my God, no, if I don't wear something short or if I don't wear this, you know, I'm not going to be beautiful. You, you are beautiful as you are, whether you're wearing the most amazing outfit or something super casual. It's all about how you approach life. Do you think you're amazing every single time or only when you wear specific clothes? And if that's the case, start shopping for clothes that make you feel that way, no matter what you look like. Clothes are designed, you are meant to wear your clothes, not your clothes wear you, okay? So I hope this video has helped you take in that transition and just being different because we're born to be different. If you, you know, already dress modestly, good for you. If you're only starting to learn about it, I'm telling you, like you are gonna feel a different type of beautiful. You, you, you've never felt this way before, I guarantee. And you're just gonna, you're gonna get so many compliments, so many things are gonna happen, I just feel it. But let me know what you think. And I'm gonna make so many different videos about this, about my journey, because I truly feel like right now, everyone's going through a transition period where we're just like waving. So let me know if you are also. But anyhow, like this video if it's helped you. Thank you for listening. And I will see you in the next podcast.